Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Solitripper here, back with a brand new video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be setting up a Minecraft behavior pack for script API and game test. So what you guys first want to do is open up Visual Studio Code. If you haven't got Visual Studio Code downloaded, you can find the link to that in the description down below. When you guys first open up Visual Studio Code, you guys are going to be greeted with a welcome message up here. You guys can go ahead and close that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to open up our com.mojang folder. If you guys don't know how to do that, you can hold the Windows key and press R, or you can type in the search bar run, and you'll open up this little window here. Inside of the open area, you want to type in percent app data percent and then you want to click enter or press OK. From here, you'll open up your roaming folder in app data. What you guys want to do is press the up arrow just here, and then you guys want to click on local. From here, you guys want to scroll down until you see packages, which should be somewhere here. There you go. Then from packages, you guys want to scroll down to Microsoft.Minecraft UWP and just double click on that. From here, you want to click on local state. You want to click on games. And you should see your com.mojang folder. You can right click this and click pin to quick access for it to be pinned on the sidebar right here. From here, we're going to open up that. Then we're going to open up development behavior packs and we're going to right click this, click new. Then we're going to click on folder. And we're going to type in our behavior pack name. So for me, I'm just going to put in video pack. Just like so. Then from here, we can drag video pack into the explorer area where it says no folders open. Just drag that into here and it should open the video pack or whatever you called it inside of a workspace. Now from here, we're going to right click, we're going to click on new file, and we're going to type in manifest.json, just like so. Then guys, you're going to get the manifest from the description down below. And in this manifest, the only things that you guys will need to change is the UUID using the UUID generator down in the description below and the name of the pack and the description of the pack, I'm gonna leave mine the exact same, just like so. Then what we're going to do is we are going to look inside of our modules. You guys are gonna leave this module alone. This is the data module that you guys do not want to touch, otherwise your pack will not work. Then you guys wanna to go to this module right here and you'll see it's a type script. The language is a JavaScript language because it's JavaScript, also known as a .js folder. Then we're going to look at the UUID. You're going to leave this UUID the same. Do not change that UUID. Then the entry, you're going to change this to where your entry file is going to be. But in this tutorial, we're going to be leaving it as the same. But if your entry file is index.js, you will put index.js just here like that. But we're going to leave it as main.js and we're going to be working with main.js uh, throughout this tutorial. So it keeps it nice and simple for you guys following along. For the dependencies, we're going to leave these the same for the update that Minecraft is currently on. So we're going to leave the module name as at Minecraft forward slash server. Do not change this ever. And this module name, never change this as well, unless Minecraft updates and it's no longer called at Minecraft server UI or at Minecraft server. Now the version for the latest update of Minecraft when this video releases is going to be 1.7.0-beta. And for the server UI, it's going to be 1.2.0-beta. Now if this changes, you can always go to Minecraft and click on settings. Go to creator, turn on uh, enable content log file or enable content log GUI. Then click on content log history and you guys will see errors in here from your script. So I highly recommend you open this up when you are checking for any errors in your script. 
And if it is the wrong version, such as this, say the, the game updates and this is no longer in version, it will say that it's requesting a certain version inside of the content log GUI and that's what you will change it to. It will say whether it's the Minecraft server or the Minecraft server UI and it will change it. Uh, it'll tell you to change it to a certain version. So that's really all you'll ever need to change inside of the manifest. Now, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to set up our scripts folder. So we're going to right click this. We're going to click on new folder and then we're going to type in scripts just like that. Then we're going to open up the scripts. Right click that and click on new file inside here. We're going to type in main.js and we're going to click enter. Now, this is going to be our main.js folder. Now, with this main.js, we're just going to set up a console.warn. So we're going to do console.warn. Now, guys, if you have a look inside of here, it will give you a bunch of different things. Now, if you see ABC, that means it doesn't do anything. But if you see a purple box, that means that it's going to do something. Now, this is built into Visual Studio. So as you guys can see, we're going to do console.warn. And then from here, it should give you a little action just like this. So we're just going to tab that action in. And this will help us just know that the uh, script has loaded correctly. So console.warn main.js loaded. So we're going to go and load up Minecraft now and test if this works. So guys, once we load up Minecraft, you guys are going to click on play. You guys are click on create new, click create new world. Then from here, we're going to call our world whatever we want. So put your world name here. Then we're going to click on creative, set the difficulty to whatever you want. Now, the most important thing here, we're going to go to cheats and turn on cheats. You don't need to turn off weather cycle and make it always day. I'm just doing this for the video purposes. Then we're going to go to experiments and it's very important. You turn on beta APIs. Once you've done that, guys, we can then click on behavior packs. Then you're going to look for our behavior pack. So as you guys can see, our behavior pack was basic pack name with basic pack description. Then we're going to click on activate. Then we're going to click on create. Now we should see a little console dot one up here saying that it has loaded. So if we click on control H, you'll see that it says main.js loaded. It shouldn't have said it twice. That's probably a little bug. It will get fixed by the time this video is out. I'm pretty sure, but it should only warn it once and say main.js loaded. And that means that we've now set up our manifest file and our entry file with the main.js. Uh, so we're ready to go on to the next video where we are going to set up a basic GUI using a compass in Minecraft. We'll, we'll add a few things in there such as a Discord redeem code, warps, and even a money transfer just to make it nice and easy easy for you guys to set up a nice GUI from scratch. Anyway, guys, we're also going to be learning some other things inside of the next video, such as how to get the player's name or the gamer tag and other things like that. Anyway, guys, it's B-Boy Soulless. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.